Hello guys, let's talk about async and await in c -sharp. Async and await keywords allow us to perform asynchronous operations in c -sharp. Asynchronous operations are operations that aren't blocking the calling thread. It is especially important for web and desktop applications. Using async and await in web applications ensures that the main thread is not blocked and can process other incoming requests. Using async and await in desktop applications ensures that main UI thread is not blocked and stays responsive. Async and await keywords use a mechanism called state machine. It allows performing asynchronous operations on the calling thread without blocking it. It means that async and await uses only one thread by default. Additional threads may be used inside of the given asynchronous operation though. Let's see an example. So here we have a simple console application. The main method is async and returns task, which is mandatory to use async await syntax in console application. I am using console write line to output the ID of the current thread. By using it in different places, I can track which thread is running given portion of code. Then I am using await keyword to invoke asynchronous operation method. It, it returns a task, which is an object representing an asynchronous operation. I am outputting the thread ID again and defining a task variable. Task.run returns a new task containing a given method. I have also used console read line to hold the program so we can see the results. Let's run the application. As we can see, the main method and asynchronous operation methods were handled by the thread with ID1. Every task created with task.run will run using separate thread and that's why thread5 is handling it. That's the evidence that async await does not switch threads by default. Why would we use async and await inside of the console application? There is no much benefit. It is mandatory though for web and desktop applications. I hope that this quick video has helped you to understand the concept and I hope to see you soon.